In the middle of an empty desert, something unbelievable is rising. A scar in the sand, 500 meters tall, 170 kilometers long, powered by AI, no cars, no streets, and no turning back. This is the line, the most ambitious construction project in human history. But here's the shocking part. It's actually being built. And in 2025, things just got real. Three years ago, the world laughed. They called it a science fiction fantasy, a PR stunt by Saudi Arabia, a mirrored city across the desert, please. But today, in 2025, they've already moved millions of tons of earth. Massive trenches stretch across the sands, steel, concrete, machinery. The line is no longer a render, it's real. And now, for the first time, we can show you what's actually happening on the ground. If you're just catching up, here's what you need to know. The line is the centerpiece of Saudi Arabia's $1 trillion NEOM mega project. It's a 170 kilometer long linear city, stretching from the Red Sea deep into the desert. But this isn't just about scale. It's about rewriting how cities work. No roads, no cars, no emissions. Instead, you'll have AI-powered transport systems, high-speed underground trains, vertical neighborhoods stacked inside mirrored skyscrapers, nine million people, all living within a strip just 200 meters wide. The goal? Zero pollution. Maximum efficiency. A living, breathing, smart city designed to be completely sustainable. But this insane vision comes with even crazier problems. Let's talk about 2025, because this year marks a major shift from fantasy to foundation. Here's what's really happening on the ground. Location. The line's first phase is being built in a region called Gal, in northwest Saudi Arabia. Drone footage shows excavation sites several kilometers long, massive fleets of trucks and cranes, foundations being reinforced with thousands of concrete piles, worker camps expanding every month. Satellite images confirm a massive trench being dug, a network of roads and dewatering systems, artificial waterways forming what will be the hidden marina. And yes, that marina is being built entirely from scratch. Man-made, in the middle of a desert. That alone would be a mega project, but for Neon, it's just one piece of the puzzle. So what's actually being built right now? Let's get something straight. When the line was first announced in 2021, the plan was audacious. Build the entire 170 kilometer mega city by 2030. That's nine years to build what would become the most complex structure ever conceived. But by 2024, the numbers didn't add up. Reports leaked that the full project was being scaled down. Officials denied it at first, but the facts were impossible to ignore. Neom was over budget, behind schedule, and running out of time. The full build-out was no longer happening. Instead, Saudi Arabia shifted to a more realistic target, a mini line just 2.4 kilometers long, still massive, still groundbreaking, but only 1.4% of the original vision. Let's talk numbers. When Eniom launched, it had a budget of $500 billion. Sounds huge, right? But as construction progressed, reality hit like a freight train. Cost projections ballooned, 800 billion, then 1 trillion, then 8.8 .8 trillion. Let that sink in. That's eight times Saudi Arabia's annual GDP. And even this scaled down version of the line? It may still cost over $370 billion just to build 2.4 kilometers of city. Even with the public investment fund, foreign investors, and government support, the line has officially become one of the most expensive ideas ever attempted by any nation in history. 
And that's not all. In 2024, Neom's CEO suddenly resigned. No explanation, no press conference, just gone. Two more senior execs were also replaced, quietly. And in their place? A man directly linked to Saudi Arabia's investment fund. The message was clear. This is now about money, not vision. The new leadership introduced phased planning, financial oversight, and realistic rollouts. They admitted what many had suspected all along. The full 170-kilometer version never planned to be finished by 2030. They would build it piece by piece over decades, maybe even a century. 2025 marks a new era for the line, one of slow realism. Neom officials now aim to complete the first 2.4 kilometers by 2030. But the rest? 2045? Maybe. 2100? Possibly. Some engineers are calling the line a 100-year mega project. Why? Because building two rows of 40 skyscrapers, 500 meters tall, 170 kilometers long, requires ongoing tech breakthroughs, global scale material supply, workforce coordination across generations, and enough money to run a small nation. In fact, Eniom is already consuming 20% of the world's steel supply in 2025. If this continues, it will reshape the global construction economy for decades. Here's the million dollar question. Even if Saudi Arabia builds the line, will anyone actually move in? To be viable, Neom needs at least 300,000 residents to occupy phase one. But who are these people? Would you move to a vertical city in the middle of a desert with no roads, no windows to open, no traditional neighborhoods? It's the ultimate test of urban psychology, not just architecture. Saudi Arabia is already preparing incentives, tax benefits, elite jobs, free housing for early movers, high-end lifestyles powered by AI, but convincing people to live in a mirrored wall in the desert? That's harder than any engineering challenge. In 2025, the line is no longer just a concept. It's a work in progress. Noisy, messy, and very, very real. Whether it succeeds or fails, one thing is certain. The world is watching. Because if the line works, it could redefine urban life forever. But if it collapses, it may go down as the most expensive architectural failure in history. For now, the machines keep digging, the cranes keep rising, and the dream, whether madness or genius, pushes forward. So what do you think? Will Saudi Arabia finish the line? Will people live there? Or is this all just a mirage in the desert? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more epic updates on the world's most insane mega-projects.